Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today, I'm going to, I'm sorry, where are my manners? My name is XD. Tech and Rogue are a little bit busy today, so I'm gonna be subbing as the host for today's video. I'm gonna show you how you can completely install Windows 10, even if you don't have a copy of it. This is perfect for those of you who may have just built a new PC, bought or received a used PC, or are thinking about upgrading to Windows 10 from a previous version. It's super easy to do, and all you need is a USB thumb drive with at least eight gigs of storage in about 30 minutes of your time. Also, if you have an SD card reader, you can also use an SD card as well, though it may not be as fast as your standard USB drive. Now, I'm gonna hop on my PC and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. If you're doing a clean install of Windows 10 on an existing PC, then make sure you back up your data. You can do this with the drive that you currently own, or you can use Backblaze. This is the same site that Tech uses to back up his files. You can use Backblaze to back up an unlimited amount of files for just $6 a month. If you guys want to try it yourself, there's a link in the description with a two week free trial with no credit card required, so you can try it completely free with no commitment. The first thing you'll need to do is download the Windows 10 creation tool from Microsoft using the link I provided in the description below. Once you click on the link, you're going to be greeted to this screen here. You can either update Windows 10 or create an installation media. For this video, we're going to focus on creating our installation media. So go ahead and click the download button and then open it up. It may take a few minutes for the program to start up, so at this point, you should plug in your USB flash drive if you haven't done so already. Once you get to the license terms, click accept. After that, it will ask you if you would like to upgrade your PC or create the installation media. We are going to create the installation media. Now it's going to bring you to this screen here, which gives you a couple of options which are pretty self-explanatory, but the main one that I want to focus on is the architecture. If you would like to use the 32-bit version of Windows 10, you're going to uncheck this button and change the architecture to 32-bit in the drop-down menu. But if you are already planning on using the 64-bit version of Windows, you can leave this button checked and be good to go. Now here is where you're actually going to choose the USB drive that you want to use for your installation media. So go ahead and click Next. It's going to give you a list of removable drives. I only have one currently plugged in, so I'm going to choose that one, then click next. Then it will begin downloading and installing the installation media. After that, it's going to verify, then create it. Now that everything is done installing, you're going to take out your USB thumb drive, put it into your new PC or the existing PC that you're going to use to install Windows 10 and boot into the installation media from the BIOS. When you get to the BIOS, you should see a screen that looks similar to this. It may not look exactly like this screen, but the same steps will apply. On the main BIOS screen, you should see a boot priority list. This is a list of drives on the system that you can use to boot into Windows. You should see the name of the USB drive you used for the Windows 10 installation tool. All you need to do is click on that drive and drag it to the top of the boot priority list. If you don't see a boot priority list on the main BIOS screen, then click on the advanced tab, navigate to the boot menu, and then select the USB drive from the drop down menu on the first boot option. After that, hit F10 to reset the system and boot into the Windows 10 install tool. Once you boot into the Windows setup screen, select your language, time format, and keyboard method, then click next and install. Next, it will ask for your product key. It's okay if you don't have a product key yet, just select this option and choose the version of Windows 10 you are planning on activating, then hit next. When you get to this screen, choose the custom installation option and then choose the drive that you want Windows 10 to be installed on. This could be a hard drive, SSD, or NVMe drive. The main thing is you want to be sure that you install Windows 10 on a fresh drive with no data. You'll know it's a fresh drive if it says unallocated space in the name. All of these drives currently have data on them, so that's why these are not listed as unallocated. If you have a drive that already has partitions on it, you'll want to delete these partitions if you want to avoid any errors while installing Windows. But before you delete anything, make sure the data you have on the drive is properly backed up and saved since you can't recover it afterward. 
If you don't want to deal with any uncertainties, then just plug in your boot drive when you install Windows. That way, you can be sure you're not installing anything on the wrong drive. Once you select the drive you want to use, hit next and install Windows. Now before I get to the next part, I want to show you guys how you can get an inexpensive Windows 10 OEM key so that you can activate Windows as soon as you're done installing. Just visit your CD key. Here you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for $14 using the Tech Deals discount code TD20. Plus, if you are activating two PCs, you can get two keys for $22 and a Microsoft Office 2019 key for $56, all using the discount code TD20. Links to all of these keys are in the description below. Once you have your key, you want to go ahead and use it to activate Windows. To do this, click on the Update and Security tab in the Settings menu, navigate to Activation, then put in your key here and click Next. Now that you have successfully installed and activated Windows 10, you'll want to download the newest chipset drivers so that your system is fully up to date and the newest video card drivers so that everything properly displays on your monitor. You can get to all of these drivers using the links in the description below. Another thing I want to mention is that if you already have a pre-existing key for Windows 7, 8, or 8.1, you might be able to use it to install Windows 10 as well. Though, depending on the type of key and when it was actually used, this may or may not work, but it wouldn't hurt to try. And lastly, this isn't a sponsored video, but links to all of the offers that I mentioned earlier are affiliate links, so if you use them, it does support the channel at no extra cost to you guys. So consider using them when you get your Windows key. We would greatly appreciate it. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel with the big red button, and if this video helped you, share it with your friends so you could help them too. Thank you guys so much for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.